Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix. And yeah, this isn't a daily thought. This is just a little bit of chit chat. Also, they're doing maintenance work. It's like right before I got ready to press the record button, I heard weed eaters outside and I'm like, oh, here they go. <laughs> so yeah, before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC are all the social media platforms. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Like I said, just a little bit of chit-chat today. I finished the readings this weekend. I did 14 readings because I did um, the love readings for... The um, the love tarot readings, Leo got a bonus reading because obviously they were for August. August is Leo season. And then the new moon in Leo is coming up on July the 29th. So I did a new moon in Leo reading, which that energy was really interesting. There was some energy afterwards that was interesting too. Because what I do sometimes, when, after I finish doing a reading... It, I'll look at the cards and then sometimes I will look under the card if I didn't during the reading just to see what is under there next. And for the cards that I looked under, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that pretty much confirms what where I was at in the energy. It's sort of like a, um, not what's the self-check thing. You know the thing where... It's like you take the test and then you have the the thing that you can take and then look at the answers to the test. That's sort of what I do sometimes after the reading where it's like, OK, yeah, energy was definitely in the right place. I did notice one thing um, I will say that and I didn't bring this up during the reading. There will there's the high possibility for a major worldwide event. In Leo season. Also, don't forget, Leo energy is fixed energy. We're having a full moon in Aquarius in August. That is fixed energy as well. In the world card, that's fixed energy. So that's Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and um, I'm having a moment. Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. <laughs> Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Thank you. So, yeah, with that fixed energy. Um, yeah, don't be surprised <laughs> if there's a major worldwide event during Leo season. I'll just say that. Not going to go too deep into that. That's another story for another day. Oh, gosh. What else is going on? I've been preparing other things. Now, I had mentioned probably about a month ago, I was moving my podcast to another platform. Because Anchor, my main platform that I'm on now, they weren't letting me monetize for a while. And I just had, I was over it. Well, I had started the process with the other podcasting company. We were going back and forth. They were saying, okay, well, we need you to do this. I'm like, okay, well, I, I, I'm going to do this instead. And they're like, all right, well, da -da. we were going back and forth. And I don't know if you want to say we were haggling. <laughs> But it was a long process. In the middle of all of that, out the blue, I kid you not, Anchor decided to monetize my podcast. Go figure. Again, so my podcast is being monetized. Knock on wood that hopefully it stays that way. I'm not, I'm not that deep into it right now I'm still leaning towards this other podcast because I like certain things that they have but at the same time if Anchor is monetizing my podcast I don't pay anything for Anchor Anchor, like I say in the ad which you, you more than likely who are listening to my podcast now you're hearing the ads now where Anchor's totally free it doesn't cost anything so, I mean, that's always a plus. That's a huge plus, actually. Um, yeah. There's something I'm working on. I'm close to finishing it. 
I hope to have that announcement soon. It's just everything is pulling me from different sides. Like I always I'm sp- always spinning a lot of plates. That's why I have to do escapism sometimes where I'm just like, okay, let me just not think about things because when I do, I think about a lot of things. Um but it, it I learn new things and it's fun. So it's all good and it's part of life. Everything is part of life. It it was almost like what I mentioned before in the reading where people want certain things in life but they don't think about what comes with it to maintain those things that they want. It's like you want the private plane but you're not thinking about where you're going to store the plane. You're not thinking about landing fees that you have to pay to the airport because you're landing on their airport and you don't think about the fuel. You don't think about the other maintenance for the plane and so on and so forth. Insurance, hiring a pilot, you know, things like that. They're just like, oh, I want a private plane. (laughs) So yeah, these things that I want in life, I know that I have to do things to acquire them and maintain them. And that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been mostly chill though. If I can't say anything out of, out of the ordinary has happened, um, I'm really thinking. Because like I said, this is just straight off the cuff. This isn't me, oh, I wrote something up and had a rehearsed or whatever. No, this is straight off the cuff. I'm just going through my mind thinking. So yeah, money readings are... Oh, let me show you. I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I have to get up and go to my um thing. Okay. So my decks, they finally arrived. I'm using this deck for the money reading. Oh, got it upside down. Oops. So yeah, Life is a Board Game Tarot. It's the Monopoly deck. I told you I was going to get this deck. I told you I was going to get this deck. And I am so over the moon. And I got a money oracle deck as well. So like this one is what I will be doing. So I'll be doing the money readings hopefully this weekend. For all of the signs, obviously Leo, you're going to get a bonus reading. And I'll do that. I might do some daily readings this week. I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of on the fence. Also, I am still going to do the wacky news. I I had promised you weeks ago I will do the wacky news. I'm still I will still do the wacky news. I just haven't picked the news stories yet. I have a few in my mind that I want to do, but also some other ones have come up, but I will do the wacky news stories. I promise. I just have to get to them and and do that. So, yeah, I think that's kind of where we're at on things. For the surprise, I believe I will be able to tell you by the first week of August. Knock on wood. I'll be able to tell you by the first week of August. I have to wrap up some stuff and then I can let you know. I'm just excited. I'm really excited. I really, really am. So thank you again to everyone who's been supporting the podcast and listening to it, listening to the old episodes. I promise you, there is that one episode that everyone listens to every week. I don't know what it is about that episode. It's also on my YouTube channel as well. You can go, if you go into the playlist on my YouTube channel, you can go to my daily thought and then type in the title. The episode is called You Can't Make Peace When You Aren't at War. Or basically, or how can you make peace when you aren't at war? But that particular episode for my podcast, that episode is almost two years old now. And people still listen to that episode every week. I, I'm just like, I don't know what it is about that episode. But whatever, I'll take the win. So yeah. Um... I'm just really appreciative of everyone who's been supporting the show, supporting me. Thank you for the donations. For all of you who have donated to me, 
I I appreciate it. I appreciate the cash apps. I appreciate um, the YouTube channel direct donation as well. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the views, the listens, all of that stuff. I appreciate it more than you will ever know because it, it helps the show grow is what it does. So, yeah. All right. It's time for me to get going. I got to get my day started. I'm not even going to close it out. You know where this podcast is at by now. (laughs) Until next time, be blessed.